Hey, how you doing? Welcome to my shop. Today. What we have today is an old broken gumball base for a gumball machine. The idea is we're going to turn it into a lamp. Not impressed? Well, you will be. Wait till you see it all painted up and cleaned up and you know what? You're going to join us for this and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, welcome to the project. Okay. <clears throat> so, before I can do all that, we have to take this base, figure out how to get a light switch in here, figure out how to get the pieces to sit in properly so that we can secure a light bulb and light fixture inside the lamp and still have something that we can um, tighten the top down with to hold everything in place. So, I mean, should I talk about something else in the meantime? You know? I guess. I don't know. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Um, how it's cold outside, I guess? Yeah, but we can't really complain about how cold it is, because where we're from, it's like 40 below right now. So, uh -huh. and, and, you know, shout out to all of our folks that we know and care about in Alaska. Okay. You know what? You're sitting there. You're watching a how-to video. You, you're probably not horribly productive at this moment, but I'm guessing you're a productive person because it's a how-to video. You know, I'll, I'll get back to work. Okay, so we got the face plate off, and that's going to make it so we can sand this and clean it and prep it for a brand new bright red paint job. I'll be able to clean this mechanism up and... Hopefully we can somehow use this little turny thing, we hope. You know, in the project is the garage. As far as I know, there's been no crime in this garage whatsoever. Dude, wouldn't that be wild if we found out that like major things happen but here in the garage? Actually, gnomes. Little gnomes. They take you Right, but they're magical. I don't think they're crime ridden. I think they're mostly paid pranksters. The garage gnomes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you missed the other videos, we have a theory about uh, garage gnomes. We, we figure that they're probably only, they're probably only about this tall-ish, maybe. That's because mostly the things that they haul away are things like my tape measure and my markers, which I have no markers at <laughs> My, my markers are gone again. You know what? We'll find them later. This is the garage gnome's fault. They hide things. Now, we've never actually seen one, but we believe. I do believe in garage gnomes. I do. I do. Okay, back to work. Alright, so... I don't want to break this down too far, but I do want to see what we can do about making this part of it so that we can utilize the turning mechanism in the lamp. So I'm sorry I'm not facing the audience here, but this, this workbench wasn't really designed for this. And uh, I mean, they, they really weren't designing the garage. Uh, with a filming studio in mind, I don't believe. Or a heater. What? Or a heater. <laughs> yeah, well, there used to be a heater, but now we just have the electric heater. But yeah. there, once upon a time, there was a heater. That's a real thing that used to be a thing. Okay. So continuing to disassemble this... first gumball machine I've ever torn apart. So, for those uh, gumball machine aficionados at home that are like, why is he doing it that way? It's because I don't know what I'm doing. It's not like I want to repair the gumball machine. I want to turn it into something else. Kind of an upcycle folk art sort of thing. So, you can, you can look up the, you can look that up. Get it. Upcycling and folk art. 
Upcycle, you probably probably got that figured out already. Folk art, depending upon your age, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Probably not. Okay. So, the good news is, I got it to spin one direction, which is what it's supposed to do. Not the music group, guys. Don't get too excited. Well, I've got some thinking to do before we proceed, so my producer, my editor, and my film person is going to shut the camera off for a bit. And we'll be back later. Just saw it all, start to finish. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you spotted any garage gnomes in the background, 
maybe put some notes in the comment section, let me know where they are, maybe draw little circles around them. All right, thanks. See you next time. This has been a Three Little Monsters production.